Hey, this is Charles with Rocky Mountain ATV MC, and you're watching the final video in our engine rebuilding series for the KTM 690 and Husky 701. We're excited to get this engine back into the frame and go ride it. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, to get this motor installed, we've gone ahead and placed our jack stand underneath the frame. That's gonna support everything well. The swing arm pivot bolt is out. And then we also have a jack to help us raise the motor into place. So I'm gonna start by lubing up the swing arm pivot bolt. That way it doesn't rust into place if we ever have to take it back out. So we have our swing arm pivot bolt in place. Now we can slide the motor into place and slide that bolt all the way through. And this is where that centering punch is gonna come in handy. You can reach in from the other side, line up the engine with the swing arm, and it's gonna help you press that swing arm bolt in place. And for now, we're gonna install this bolt on the other side of the swing arm, but it's just gonna stay loose for now. Then loosely install that nut on the other side. And now we can install the hangers. The procedure will be the same for both sides. And both of the nuts for the engine mounts will put a little bit of Loctite. Next, we'll torque these hanger bolts to 33.2 foot pounds. And we can install these two bolts back into the foot bracket. And we'll torque this swing arm pivot to 59 foot pounds. Then we can tighten down these foot peg bracket bolts all the way. And then this lower bolt will be torqued to 33.2 foot pounds. Next, we're gonna install our spark plugs. This fatter one is gonna to go towards the inside. And then the skinnier one to this outside. Now we're gonna install the coil holder and before we press it in, I'm going to set that inner coil in place Then we can press it all down. And tighten down both of those bolts. Then we'll do the same thing with the other coil. Now this is where staying organized really pays off. We labeled all of our connectors, so now we just need to take the labels off and plug each one in. So this white one, this is the outer coil. Our black connector is the inner coil. And right next to the coils, we have our engine coolant temp sensor. Connect the oil pressure sensor. Then we can bolt down that oil pressure sensor. After that, we can install the throttle body. Now we can connect the stator, connect the positive wire for the starter, After that, we can hook up the ground wire. Then we'll slide our push rod into place and install the new O-ring and gasket onto the slave cylinder and tighten those bolts down. Next, we'll install the sprocket. And we're gonna use a new lock washer Tighten the nut to 59 foot-pounds and bend the tab on that lock washer over.
Now we can install the sprocket cover. Make sure these wires are above the bolt. Now that we've made most of our connections, we're gonna zip tie these wires down. Next, you'll wanna install a new header gasket. We're gonna apply a little bit of anti-seize to these header studs. We're just gonna leave these nuts loose for a minute and install the rest of the exhaust. And as you tighten the hardware down, start at the header and then work your way back. And then we'll zip tie this down. All right, and now we're gonna connect our gear position sensor. All right, now we can connect our O2 sensor. Next, we'll reconnect the cooling hoses. Now we'll install the air box. Next we'll install the bolts in the air box and connect our breather hose. Then we'll install the regulator rectifier and a new air filter. Now we can connect our battery, sensor, and set the ECU in its place. Next, we'll fill it up with coolant. Now we'll fill this up with 1.7 liters of oil. Now you can install your gas tank, seat, and skid plate, and any other accessories you have. Now to get your engine broken in, it's gonna be the same as if it was brand new, and you wanna to refer to your owner's manual for that break-in procedure, and make sure you get the oil changed out at the recommended interval. And that is it for the KTM 690 and Husky 701 engine rebuilding series. If you need any parts for your bike, be sure to find them on our website. And if you like this series, subscribe to our channel for more helpful content, and you can also stay up on the latest videos. I'm Charles, thanks for watching.